everybody, I'm Lisa with Lisa Boone Designs. Welcome to my channel. I am so excited to do this thrift haul with you today. I am a DIY paint retailer. I also stock IOD, which is Iron Orchid Design Products, Recycled Decoupage Papers, and Sweet Pickens Milk Paint. I love taking all of those wonderful products and upcycling smalls, which is home decor items, and furniture. So if you like thrift hauls, if you like DIY, if you like paint tutorials, then you'll want to stay connected with me, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll know every time that I upload a brand new video. Today, my daughter and I had recently went to a couple of Goodwills and a couple of yard sales, and we're going to take all of the things that we got and change them up for resale. Let's go. We actually ended up keeping those four wooden bowls, but let's get onto this tray. We wanted to paint this because it was stained, and so in order to do that, you have to sand down the stencil part so that it won't come through on your paint job. I actually painted this on the DIY Paint Network with DIY Paint Speedboard, and then I decoupaged those napkins on there. Then I took Hey Sailor, the blue color, and I painted it along the sides and the outside. I love the way that it turned out so bright and cheery and it looks amazing. Then I sealed it with DIY Paints Big Top after it dried. For this one, I was excited when I saw it. I knew I wanted to paint it, all those details, but it is hard to clean. So I was using my brush to try to get into all of the grooves with the baby wipe and then I even sprayed it with some water to try to get that to come up. Then I painted it with DIY Paints Apothecary. Pretty much one coat after it dried, I went back and I touched up a few of the spaces that were not painted very well and then I used my 3 inch chip brush. I do have that on my online store at lisaboondesigns.com and I sealed it with the clear wax. For home decor items, I usually use just one coat of clear wax. And then I really did want to distress it and so I did it afterwards. Normally I would do this before with a wet distress technique using the baby wipe but if you do it this way you can get it done and it doesn't have any dust. Now this sign, that hope sign, was something that was purchased from Hobby Lobby prior to me getting it and I just peeled off that paper. It's basically a decoupage piece of art and then when I got everything off I went ahead and I painted with DIY paint beadboard. took an artist brush and I applied apothecary on there and and then I removed the vinyl stencil and I took a blade or a knife you could take anything to remove the insides and usually it comes out perfectly if you are ever in the Madisonville area I would love to meet you 
Come to the store at Now and Then, 575 McCoy Avenue. We are two hours from Nashville. We are 45 minutes from Evansville. We are about an hour and a half from Paducah, Kentucky. So there's a lot of towns in the surrounding areas. So if you're ever in driving distance, I would love to meet you. The store hours are Wednesdays through Saturday, but I could always meet you by appointment. The details are in the description. I bought this frame because I loved how chunky and wide it was. The inside was painted over the glass with like acrylic paint and it was textured. So I just sanded it down. I cleaned it really well. And then I put apothecary in the center and beadboard on the outside. As you can see, DIY paint will paint over almost any single surface. Your first coat might be a little bit rough, a sketch coat if it's a slick surface, but just let it dry and then paint over it. I had a pre-made vinyl decal that I had created and I used it um, on this piece and I just put it on there and then I painted over it with apothecary so that if I had any bleed through it would be the apothecary color just because it wasn't um, a very good vinyl. It was a cheap vinyl and I wasn't sure if it was going to come up. Once it was all dry then I went ahead and I put a coat of letterpress gray over it and then when it was dry I peeled up the vinyl decal to reveal the apothecary underneath. that brown case it's an attache case a briefcase and I've been wanting to decoupage and paint one up and I went ahead and I took the Roy Cycles grunge meters paper I cut it to the size that I wanted it and I used DIY big top as my decoupage medium now I have tons of decoupage tutorials that you could look at on my playlist right here on YouTube and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask you just want to take it one step at a time and do it in sections. And you can see here, I have a nice smooth surface once you let it dry and then you go ahead and seal it. But before I sealed it, I went ahead and I used a blade to cut off my excess. I wanted it on the inside of the stitching. I start applying my paint colors. Here I used cake batter, weathered wood, prairie gray, and crinoline to create a really nice blended look and I painted it into the paper using a, a wipe to um, blend it all in. And as you can see this is what it looked like when it dried. And then I did the back side and I painted the outside in the weathered wood and the back I left it more of a plain uh, brown color and then I sealed it with DIY Paints Clear Wax. I hope that you are enjoying this video. I hope it inspires you to do something new, something creative, something you've never done before. Take some risks, take some chances, try some colors that you've never tried before. Try some products that you've never tried before. You can find all of the products that I use on my website, lisaboondesigns.com. All of the information is in the details of this video. I previously painted this in Apothecary on the DIY Paint Network and I took this along with another piece and made one uh, beautiful riser out of this candlestick holder. You'll see that here in a second. Now we talked about how DIY paint can go on anything. Here is a brass um, canister of some kind and it had so much detail work and even the guy at Goodwill was like oh you got some good stuff here if you're creative you can do something with this I'm like boy that's what I do I took aviary I added a little bit of weathered wood as you can see the on the cap that's actual aviary and then it, it just um, toned down the color and made it more like an army green 
and I went ahead and I applied it all over. After the paint dried, I applied one coat of clear wax and then I took DIY Paints white wax and applied it all over and I used a cheesecloth that I have and um, I just rubbed it back and gave it a really, really cool finish and let some of that white show in the recesses. Then I took this pizza board. We had actually got this at a yard sale. It was quite dirty and dingy and I cleaned it as best as I could and I applied Hay Sailor on the top. It's raw wood and so every now and then I did spritz it with my water bottle to get the paint to glide. And then I put Apothecary on the bottom painting upward. my one brush for the apothecary, my other brush for the DIY Hay Sailor, and then I took the Klingon S30 brush and I just blended the two colors together going up and down, back and forth until I liked what I had. You can also continue to use your fine mist sprayer to blend it perfectly. And then I took DIY Paint's Big Top to seal the entire piece. And as you can see, DIY paint dries a lot lighter and when you top coat it, it becomes very vibrant and then when it dries, it meets somewhere in the middle, but it's still a lot more vibrant as it is sealed. The colors just come to life. I thought I videoed this entire part, but I didn't. I took pieces of the Painterly Florals. IOD tra decor transfer and I applied it onto my board once the DIY paints big top had dried thoroughly. But as you can see it's got sunflowers, it has roses and it has lavender and there's stems and leaves. The entire pack is absolutely amazing and will last for multiple multiple projects. Now here's the look of the finished product and I went ahead and I sealed it with big top. I grabbed this rolling pin at a yard sale as well and all I did was I painted the handles with Hay Sailor and then I took Sweet Pickens hemp oil for the center of it. Hemp oil is food safe so if someone wanted to use it they could or just for decor. Next I took this jewelry box and I painted this on the DIY paint network using Apothecary but I took a fine little brush to get inside in the crevices and to not paint the fabric. I wanted to leave that as is and I love the way that it turned out. But the inside was quite nasty, um, the box and then the actual inside of the jewelry box and so I went ahead and I painted that velvety fabric by spritzing it down with water and putting the apothecary inside and then I sealed it with Big Top but you could also seal it with wax. Next I took DIY Paints Decrepit Dust and you use this after you have waxed with clear wax is what I did and then I applied it with a small brush, I actually used a stencil brush just to get it in there in the grooves and then you can take a lint free rag or my cheesecloth and then you can buff it in and remove the excess. If you have too much in one area you could just take a little bit of clear wax and you can basically erase it. But this grunged it up and I think it made it look a lot better. Now I have Golden Ticket here. It's our liquid patina that's beautiful gold. This lamp needed a little bit of touch up on the bottom. I left the lamp as is. I just wanted to um, judge up the base a little bit. It looked a little bit dull and Golden Ticket was the ticket. And so I applied two coats of it and now it gave it brand new life. Here I'm taking this wood uh, board. I was going to make a riser out of it and put legs on it. I ended up gluing it to my candlestick that I did previously. So here I just painted with DIY Paints beadboard one coat all over and unfortunately I thought I had videoed I actually decoupaged uh, sunflowers onto it and then once I had it all decoupaged I applied, I stippled 
like this, uh, just in the open areas because I didn't like the way that the white looked. I did apothecary to tie it in to my candlestick and then it just made it all work. So here's all of the finished pieces. Here's the jewelry box and what was the hope sign is now God is within her. She will not fail. My breadboard and the cutting, I mean the rolling pin. There's the briefcase, attache case. And look at the frame, so beautiful. And there's the lamp. You could see the golden ticket on the bottom. And look at that tray. I love the way the tray turned out. I didn't show that brass, but I did just put florals in there. And I love the way that looked. And I didn't do anything with the baskets. I just left it at it as is. And then there's the frame. I did add a piece of decor transfer to the frame. And there's the brass pail. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you'll write a nice comment below and let me know what you thought. What's your favorite project? Let me know which one you like the best. What was your favorite color that I used today? I hope that I can hear from you very soon. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. It helps my channel grow. And so I greatly appreciate all of you who have already done it and the ones that are going to do it here soon. I hope you guys have an incredibly blessed day. Thank you so much for watching.